So, anyways, uh, for uh, uh, just for the record, Death Race, Terrence Heights, or Ter Lake Lakeview Terrence, or whatever the fuck Terrorist. that's. I don't know what the hell it's called. Don't remember it because it's not worth it. it. It's totally not worth it. Watch it on HBO if you have to, but don't rent it or anything like that. Um. So, I uh, I am signing off for my little uh, movie gig on the um, on YouTube for. Uh, have a lovely winter. We will see you again in the summer. Absolutely. Bye. Have a good one. All have right. Good it was a pleasure viewing movies with you guys, and we'll talk to you next summer. Alright, I'm here sitting in the driving. I am so excited. It is the first weekend. Uh, first weekend uh, of the season, so I'm here. I don't really care about the movies. I just want to be here. And it was so cute because I just wanted to buy my, my uh, hot dog and my um, onion rings. And uh, the cashier totally recognized me, welcomed me back. It was so sweet. I thought it was so cool. Uh, I am loved around here. Well, I'm loved anywhere I go, of course. But uh, anyways, besides the point, I am so excited. So um, I'm here to see Fast and the Furious. I just wanted to um, talk about two things before the movie starts. First off, the little segment that I played before the movie started, or uh, my, my review started. Uh, me and Keela actually taped that last year before um, uh, we went to see, uh, what was it, Death Race in uh, Lakeview Terrace and I was just so lazy that I never posted it so um, but uh, to be honest with you it wasn't all that great uh, Lakeview Terrace just sucked it sucked hard and um, uh, Death Race was okay it was just kind of stupid but uh, I I thought it would be cute to, to use some unused footage and to uh, lead into this year's season with last year's season so that was a little treat uh, it's Ray! Ray finally made it! Alright, so, uh, I'm sorry, sweetie. You, uh, what's your name? Heidi. Heidi and uh, Ray. Uh, we're all at the drive-in, uh, and they're making... Uh, are, have you been on YouTube yet? Yeah, I have an account. Okay. Have you? Ha do you have your own videos and stuff like that? She has a video of me. Yeah, I have a bunch of him doing stupid crap, but none of me yet. None of you. Well, we're going to have lost, to fix that. I lost my cord to put into the so I can't upload any of my videos. I have like three of them. Uh, that's kind of a drag. All right, well, so what's your channel? Veronique Nor 13. And I know Ray's is like uh, Nerd Fighters something or other. TBA. Yeah, there you go. All right, so there's some uh, free plugs for some other people's um, YouTube channels. And uh, uh, I'm going to sign off now and eat my hot dog, but uh, I'll, we'll be coming back in the middle of the, the movie. And, or after the movie and letting you know what we think about the movie and uh, we'll review the second movie as well so alright YouTube it was uh, good talking to you and I'll talk to you later <laughs> so uh, yeah uh, we just got done watching uh, the, the, the Fast and the Furious 2 which I believe <laughs> alright well during, that's actually interesting because I was actually I was sitting through the movie and I was thinking to myself uh, this is actually just a continuation of one it's not a continuation of two or three. Oh, uh, technically, it used characters from three or from two and three. Two, but no, the only fucking character that was in two was the fucking cop. But uh, Vin Diesel was in with uh, Tokyo Drift. Yeah. Still, at the same time, my opinion is is that it was a continuation of one. Two and three are uh, uh, autonomous and have nothing to do with this uh, story plot line whatsoever. Okay. Is this me? Okay, just me. I'll, I'll so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to view this movie as just a sequel to the first movie. And as far as I'm concerned, um, you know there was a couple incongruities in the plot, and it asked the audience quite a bit sometimes by some impossible stuff that they did. I thought it was good. I thought it was a guy movie. It promised to be a guy movie. It promised car races, uh, fist fights, and um, yeah, just all that kind of fun stuff. And it promised on every single one of them. Yeah, we had to kind of believe stuff that uh, really didn't happen, like jumping into the other car yeah. in mid-race. 
That, you know, that was slick, and I understand. I, I thought it was cool. And the whole driving thing that, was yeah, impossible. Yeah, there was a lot of impossible driving. It's just yeah. like... There's so, no way they could have known that road. They under. they actually they, they asked a lot of the audience, but if you if you don't think about the movie and you just go to this like you went to every single other Fast and Furious movie as just kind of a mind numbing thing, then it was pretty enjoyable. I don't know. I liked it. What do you guys think? I two thumbs up. Awesome right. movie. Promise. It held a through. Alright, and what? I really hate racing movies, but it wasn't that bad. All right. So. Well, it wasn't a racing movie, and well, it was kind of about hard. cars, okay? <laughs> right. All right. So um, I'm gonna uh, go to the snack bar pretty soon here, and uh, then we're gonna go watch the other movie, which is what? Uh, Last, Last House, House on, on the, the Left. left. And uh, that promises to be not only scary, but kind of gruesome at the same time. Very. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, cool. you can't do it wrong. Like, uh, no, I, I love no, gruesome like, movies. Puts their ducks and everything. Dude, yeah. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to be watching that next, and then after the movie, we're going to sit down again, talk about the movie, and uh, we're going uh, to take off and go home. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Alright, well, here's a big surprise, guys. Um, my light on? Uh, I just read it in the credits. That was written and directed by Wes Craven. Did, it, did anybody know this? No. I did not either. Uh, you know who Wes Craven is, don't you? Is, yeah. Um. Wes Craven is uh, um, the one responsible for like all the screen movies. Oh, okay. And he's also responsible for like uh, the. Was he the Freddy Krueger guy? Like, uh, yes. Yeah, he created Freddy yes, Krueger. Yes, and he was also responsible for uh, the really bad movies. Um, <laughs> oh, what was the last one? Oh, uh, that cursed movie with uh, fucking Christine Ricci, Ricci, uh, Ricci, whatever her name is. I don't Ricci. Know. No. No. Ricci. No. Ricci. Ricci. Thank you. Yeah, yeah she. Um, that that was a werewolf movie. You guys didn't see that, did you? No. Thankfully enough, that man is a hack. I've said it before. He's I said it again. But at the same time, I had to say that was a fucking kick-ass movie. That was awesome. That was great. Movie. I had never heard of it. Just all that stuff was going on. I'm like the whole time, I'm sitting there like, oh my god, he was so freaking suspenseful. It was yeah. crazy. Well, you had to cover your eyes. Okay. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Funny story. Okay. So during the story. during the rape scene, right? The the big rape scene. I lean over and I do it. I'm being weird and I'm being <laughs> saying something to Heidi, and I accidentally honk my horn with my leg. Right, right. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, what a big goof. All right, so I'm, I'm like, oh no, I did not just do that. We don't do want that. to get into what happened later on. Jesus Christ, Ray. Uh, All right, so uh, um, that brings up an interesting fact. Uh, a lot of people are taught, you know, the big criticism about this movie is rape scene. Uh, they, they're saying that it's gratuitous and just not needed. Um, I felt for my uh, personal, uh, I don't know, I thought it was actually needed. It, it, you needed to hate these guys. You hated to, needed to hate them really bad. And to do that, yeah, the scene, the scene was very graphic, but as gratuitous as, uh, as it goes, I, I think it was absolutely 100% needed. Uh, I think the reason for art is to uh, elicit some kind of emotional response, and I'm sorry, fear is a good response, and I think that film okay. not only, it, it delivered in it, but uh, to, to fully experience that, you have to uh, just... To feel uh, the pain. Yeah, the pain. feel the pain, exactly. And that's exactly, I mean, every single moment of this movie, I was just kind of grabbing my gut because it was just, or encasing my head in my hands. I was just on edge I know, through we're the whole both movie. Just like, oh my god. <laughs> uh. So, uh, again, I'm going to have to say this was a winner. Uh, anybody out there that wants to watch this movie, uh, has my recommendation. I, I would oh, totally, yeah. totally, totally, totally uh, recommend this movie. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, and I'm guessing, Gray? I agree. And for the overall experience tonight, awesome job, Midway. Absolutely. And? Completely awesome. Just, that's it. Alright. Alright, well, I'm going to go home and uh, edit this film now, so... I will be posting this uh, either later on tonight or tomorrow, and uh, hopefully people watch this. Check right. this all out. <laughs>